Hi, in our previous video, we have seen how to set up EdgeX Foundry on a Linux machine. In this video, we will see how to send sensor data to the server using REST API. In order to send sensor data to EdgeX Foundry, we have to create a device on EdgeX. So to do that, we need to set the value, type, format, length and some other things so let's do that first. Here I am using the Postman application to communicate with EdgeX Foundry from my Windows machine. Open the Postman application. Set the method to post. Set the URI as HTTP, colon, double slash, your EdgeX IP, colon, port number 48080, slash opi, slash v1, slash value at descriptor. Set the payload to raw and sun format. Copy the payload data and paste it into the data section. Then click the send button and check the response code should be 200 OK. Do the same thing for temperature data. And check the response code 200 OK. Now upload the device profile. The device profile is a YAML file that contains the device name and the list of data it could handle. You can download and upload it using the postman as described in the blog post, or you can directly upload it using the EdgeX UI. After the successful upload, you can see the name test sensor data in the device profile. Now the value descriptor and device profile are ready to create the device. So let's create the device. Go to the postman application set the method to post. Change the URI to port number 48081 followed by slash API, slash v1, slash device. Then copy and paste the payload from the blog post. And press the send button. Check the response status code must be 200 OK. Now your EdgeX Foundry is ready to capture temperature and humidity data. To send sensor data from the client's side, we can use the post API, HTTP colon double slash, EdgeX IP colon port number 49986, slash API, slash V1, slash resource, slash temp underscore and underscore humidity underscore sensor underscore data, slash temperatures, or humidity, with the respective value as payload. And to fetch the same data from EdgeX, we can use the get API and the IP with port number 48080 followed by slash API slash v1 slash reading from the server side. Let's see a quick demo. Here I am using a DTH11 sensor to read temperature and humidity data and send it to the USB port of my laptop and a Python script that reads the data from the serial port and sends it to EdgeX using the post method. If I run the script, you can see the temperature and humidity data that has been sent to EdgeX with the response code from EdgeX Foundry. Now the data are successfully uploaded to the EdgeX Foundry. If we fetch those data from the server side using the postman application with the same get method that we previously used, we can see all those data that have been sent by the client. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this, hit the like button.